Construction can often get some bad press, and there's a lot of determination to change it at the moment, which means that some of the bad bits tend to get highlighted and discussed more than the good stuff. Now, for people outside our industry looking in, or for those people thinking of joining our industry, that's not good. So in this series, I and a number of other people are going to tell you what we love about construction. Well, first up for me is definitely the people. I've worked with some great people over the years, and I think we're generally quite a good humid industry, uh, particularly in the UK, and um, particularly on construction sites. There's a lot of uh, sarcastic humour and a lot of dry wits, uh, which makes it a very fun place to work. You also come across a lot of unsung heroes, and you know you find these people tucked away on construction sites or working on a particular problem in a particular area that they are completely immersed in and completely committed to. And I think they're the people that make the construction industry go round. You know, it's their, it's the sum of their efforts that leads to delivery of incredible projects like the London 2012 Olympics or the Freedom Tower in New York or you know, incredible feats of engineering like the Lauer Viaduct in France, which are, you know, just some of my favourite projects the industry has delivered. And then you have the really inspirational people, people who have a way of thinking about things or a way of approaching things that just you know, completely bowls you over. Uh, and sometimes they're people who have achieved an awful lot in their career over their lifetime or they're people who have such a vision for the industry and such a vision for where they want to go uh, that they take people along with them. And I think, you know, regardless of job titles or hierarchy or structures, it's those people that others look up to and they're the people that ultimately move the industry on. I also love that every project's different, so whilst you might have the same objective or the same job role, the interest and the variation comes with applying that to a different product every time. That way you're always meeting new people, you're seeing a different part of your country or a different part of the world, you get to travel quite a lot which is really exciting and it really helps, it keeps you challenged, it helps you grow. It's easy to forget the impact construction can have and does have on people's lives. I remember my first project was actually uh, Beckenham Hospital in South East London uh, in the UK. I joined that project as a student design coordinator just as it started on site. And I remember I had my head down, I was working away for most of that project, it was quite an intense job. And as we came towards handover, we were working really hand in glove with the NHS Trust to ensure the smoothest possible handover and the smoothest possible start for the new facility. Uh, and then when we handed it over, seeing the, the faces of patients coming in uh, and the faces of the staff working there, working in that new facility was just just an incredibly rewarding experience and that, that particular job also really rejuvenated the local community and helped lift the local community. So uh, that, that was an incredibly rewarding feeling as well to be able to stand back and say yeah I was involved in that, yeah I played a part in that uh, was really rewarding and I've been really lucky over my, over my career in construction that I've had that feeling with almost every job I've done, you know, whether it's been schools or social housing or hospitals, to have that feeling of yeah I've, I've played a part in this, I've played a part in making people's lives better. Is, uh, is incredibly rewarding. 